Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Dangerous HD, and I'm here with my third belt pickup. It's the Burberry Haymaker, like traditional print with the uh, the black belt buckle. It's a real hot belt. I get lots of compliments on it. You know, I have the, uh, as you guys know, I have the two Louis Vuitton belts, the traditional monogram print with the silver belt buckle, and then I got the, uh, the fucking the Damieri Bene one, the brown one with the fucking square belt buckle. But yeah, enough of that. You know, I like this belt the most out of all the belts that I've gotten. I even, I even had a Gucci one back in the day, but I sent that shit back. I don't like it. But uh, it's the cheapest out of all of them, so, you know, that's a that's a plus. I mean, like, some of these belts, you can, they range from, like, 300 to $700, you know. It's real bullshit, but, like, this one was a uh, 275 or 295 either one of those. You know, I just got it, like, two weeks ago. I can't remember two weeks ago, you know what I'm saying? I got it for, like, Christmas that time. But, yeah, let's get it started. Okay, so, this is a little bag that came in, I ordered it from the, uh, the Burberry store at the Ross Park Mall in the North Hills District of Pittsburgh, you know, little Burberry, dude on his horse, established in 1856 kind of shit, and you know, they did like a real nice job with it, like it came like, uh, like in a bow tie and shit, like it looked really nice, I'm not going to try to botch it and make you guys like, see it, <laughs> but uh, yeah, they sent me this like little cardboard box thing. Nothing came in it. Like it was just sitting inside of the bag. I don't know what it does. So maybe if one of you guys know something about Bear Bear, you can help me out. But I'm gonna keep it. I like to keep all my shit, you know, memorabilia. Most collectors do. Okay, so uh, here's the box that the the belt came in. You know, little man's horse getting shit done. Little tag on the back. See, you know, you know what it is. So there's little cards that came with it. I don't know why every designer brand sends you cards on how to use their product. I'm pretty sure everyone knows how to use their product, but hey, you know, fuck them. So there's a little bag. Everyone knows the bag that you get. It keeps your shit nice, you know. Might as well keep it. Put your weed in there. <laughs> My mom's found this shit many times. She's getting too fucking smart for me. But yeah, so here's the belt. The black belt buckle. I don't know if I said that before. I made this video like six times. YouTube's fucking up. You know, the traditional print, everyone knows the haymaker print, man on the horse, getting shit done, fucking tan and red, you know. And, um, about this belt, the thing I like about it is the width of the belt. It's not too thin like some of the Louis ones, and it's, uh, it's a real nice leather material. The, um, the Louis Vuittons, I know that they're made out of pleather, which is not real leather, it's much cheaper. My uncle works for Louis Vuitton, he said, like, don't waste your money on the shit, they make it for, like, ten dollars, you know. Like, with this, like, it's actual leather, so you can know that you're actually buying a good product. And so, uh, these things tend to last, you know. And, um, here's the information on the back. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it says, Burberry, 90 over 100, made in Italy. Um, so, typically when you're buying a belt, you're going to have to, um, you know, figure out your size. And if you go to the store, they'll help you out with that, and it's in, like, centimeters or something. And so, um... You want to buy it just a little bit big because when it's around your waist, you don't want it to actually be straining on the uh, the belt holes because that'll stretch them out and it'll just look like shit. So if you ever want to resell it one day, I don't know why you would, but if you would, you want to have it in like near mint condition. You know, I like to keep my shit nice and I like to have my shit for a long time. So I always buy my belts a little big because, of, you know, the jeans I'm buying, they, they typically fit me. Like I like design and everything, you know, it's just, that's just how I am. But, uh, yeah, so, I'm not wearing jeans right now, and I'm not going to put jeans on for this video, so, I mean, this is what it looks like wrapped around you, you know, it's a, it's a very nice looking belt, it's beautiful, I get all sorts of compliments on it, and it's only, like, two ninety five versus, like, my Louis ones, I paid fucking, like, $600, $500 for both that, like, people don't even, like, recognize, like, I'm a suburban kid, like, you'd think, like, people would be able to recognize Louis Vuitton, but they don't. People are always like, damn, that belt's cool as fuck. I like that pattern. And I'm like, yeah, dude, it's Burberry. They're like, the fuck is a Burberry, you know? But, like, it's all good. I don't do it for them. I do it for me. I like to look nice. And so, uh, yeah, you know, it's a good-looking belt, you know? It's very classy. Uh, you'll look nice in it. You know, you can wear it with, like, khakis and, like, a nice collared shirt and, like, a tie if you want. But if you want to have swag, you won't rock out with some trues and some fucking polo shit, you know, at all times kind of shit, <laughs> you can do that easily, 
And so, yeah, it's my belt review. It's a very nice, like, kind of flimsy, like, leathery, nice material. You know, I, I don't have any complaints about it. I, I wear it all the time, and now my fucking, my Louis ones out of my closet is fucking collecting dust. So, you know, I highly recommend this belt. It's a fraction of the price of, like, Gucci, Louis Vuitton, Prada, Fendi, whatever you like to wear. But hey, it's just personal preference. I believe that every belt collector should always have a uh, a little spot for their Burberry because it is considered the Rolex of designer brands because you know their their clothes are expensive as fuck but the belts you know you get a good you get a good deal on these belts so subscribe rate thumbs up comment tell me what I could do wrong or what I can do better you know you know what I'm saying yeah alright so peace YouTube.